terms of this, uh, uh, the Houthi uh, missile, uh, attempted mm -hmm. missile attack on, uh, on the UAE, uh, one, do you, do you have any reason to believe that it was specifically timed to the visit of the um, Israeli uh, president? And uh, secondly, you know, what, what is it going to take for you guys to uh, step up uh, your pressure uh, on the Houthis? And, and I'm not just talking about with a paper designation of a, uh, an FTO designation, but, uh, you know, what do they have to do before you realize that, um, or before you before you take action, significant action uh, against them and their pro and the people who they are serve as proxies for? Well, I would be interested in hearing your your definition of significant action and how that compares to uh, the actions that we've consistently taken in terms of designations, in terms of in terms of interdictions, in terms of uh, working with the international community uh, to uh, shine a spotlight on uh, the Houthis' uh, conduct, uh, to uh, 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 ensure accountability um, for uh, their continued attacks, uh, including their continued attacks against our partners in the region, that includes Saudi Arabia, but also the UAE, and you referenced uh, the uh, attack over the weekend. Uh, in terms of motivation, uh, I can't point to a motivation specifically beyond the fact that, of course, this is not the first time uh, that the UAE in Abu Dhabi uh, has endured an attempted Houthi uh, attack. Um, uh, this is a challenge that uh, we are very focused on. Uh, we're very focused on it in terms of uh, s providing uh, support that our partners, Saudi Arabia and the UAE, need to defend themselves uh, against these types of terrorist attacks, um, but also uh, pursuing uh, those Houthi leaders with appropriate uh, authorities and tools uh, that um, will hold them accountable, will constrain their ability uh, to engage in this type of reprehensible uh, behavior, and that even as we do all that, uh, seeking with the Saudis, uh, with uh, other regional partners, of course, with the UN Special Envoy, uh, to find uh, a diplomatic solution to uh, the conflict in Yemen. This is a conflict that the Houthis have been able to leverage uh, to their advantage. Uh, and the sooner we can find uh, a means by which to uh, bring about a diplomatic solution uh, here in Yemen, uh, we will be better positioned uh, across across all these challenges. Why do you think the Houthis have managed to leverage it to their advantage? Well, the, the vacuum uh, that has existed, the power vacuum that in some ways has existed uh, in Yemen since um, 2015 uh, has... Do you, do you think that U.S. policy has played any role in, the, in, in what you're saying now, is that, the, the, I, that this is a conflict that the Houthis have managed to leverage to their advantage? What I can tell you is that U.S. policy now is focused on finding a diplomatic solution uh, to this, uh, not only to bring about greater levels of stability and security in Yemen, uh, but also to put an end to uh, or to alleviate uh, the humanitarian emergency that is afflicting uh, millions of Yemenis, 16 million Yemenis, uh, I believe, uh, are suffering from food insecurity at the moment. Uh, part of that is due to long-standing uh, factors, but part of that is due to uh, what we are seeing on the ground in terms of these uh, Houthi offenses. So for us, this is a question of international peace and security. Uh, it's a question of grave humanitarian concern, uh, and it's a question that we're intently focused on diplomatically. Yeah.